Hey everybody, it's Sherry here from Paper Paint and Stitches again and I've got a cute little envelope journal to share with you today. It's made from uh, these envelopes. They're big enough to put about an eight and a half by five and a half inch card into um, and you use ten of them and the way you glue them together it forms a little book. So that's what I've done here and I've left some of them the way you glue them together there's pockets inside so I'll show you that when we get to it the outside um, has been stained and stitched and coffee dyed and had all kinds of things done to it so let's untie this lace you can take it completely off so it's out of the way and this is a it's got a bird cage that I cut out of some really pretty cardstock uh, scrapbook paper and then there's a little definition up here there's music paper in the back there's uh, decorative stitching and then here we have a little pocket with a little piece of paper tucked inside that you can write a secret little note on there put your name on it or if you give this to a friend you could write a note to them <clears throat> excuse me there's a eyelash trim tied around the top of the bird cage it makes a pretty little bow and then inside each page is of course envelope so it's going to they're going to be thick good for writing on so i've put a journaling space in or on each page so here you have a little piece of uh, paper from a tiny notebook has been attached to the page and then over here in this pocket you've got two pieces of paper you've got a little journaling card and then you've got a piece of coffee dyed paper that's been stitched around and had corners punched and things like that and it gives you room to write and of course you could put pictures um, you could journal here if you like and then this page has one of those pockets I believe there are four uh, pockets let me see I don't know if you can see this very well, but yes, it has four pockets, and you can see the paper, uh, the card in it. At the top, it's been punched with a decorative punch, and so when you pull it out, this is what you have, and it's double-sided, so you can journal on both sides, or you could add pictures and a little note around the pictures, or whatever you would like to do with this, and then you just tuck it back inside, and it goes all the way to the bottom and that's they're all the same in all four of the pockets so I probably won't take all of those out I'll just show you where they are okay and then we turn the page and this one you see a journaling card attached here with a paper clip and I'm sorry I'm, I'm out of practice I gotta stay in the frame there you go so I'm not real good with this anyway so I'm learning then here we have a piece of coffee dyed paper that is it's attached and you close it with this little butterfly but you can also lift it up you could journal on the back side or on this piece of paper that is attached to the page Then on this side you have a nice big tuck spot that you could add more things into but you have a little journal card here and then three little pages from that notebook that have been coffee dyed then you have a, a crocheted flower here that I made and it's on some lace and this pocket's been stitched around I'll get a little bit closer so you can see that a little better maybe and it makes it quite dimensional it's very pretty okay and then we turn the page and here we have a coffee dyed doily and all the envelopes have had this music paper attached to them with the decorative stitching and so they're all alike on the background but then the other things are added on top this is um, pages from a different style little notebook that have been added in for you to write on and of course you could put a picture behind here if you like maybe a little picture up here or write on this if you wanted to write something and then this side has another tuck spot you could journal on all of this or attach pictures and then this is a full sheet of copy paper that's had a lot of stuff done to it the corners were punched um, it was stitched around and it was coffee dyed and then it's folded about you know not quite in half 
either direction so that when you tuck it back into your pocket you get some pretty edges sticking out and there's another one of those cards inside the pocket on this page you have some uh, photo corners you have a um, one of the Tim Holtz die cuts and some trim here and I colored this die cut just really lightly with a little bit of pink ink then on this side you have a, a pocket you could put more things in here but I just have this sheet of paper and it's a it hasn't been coffee dyed or anything because it was already old and I like the shade it is so I just folded it up and added a sticker this page has more uh, journaling pages this is a canvas that's been stitched around and has a little uh, die cut attached to it and then this is was stitched together and attached to the page so they won't come apart on you but um, you can lift it up and you could put a picture here or more journaling and then there's uh, four sheets of this paper on this side you've got some trim that's been stitched onto this pocket and you've got a small journaling card and then you've got a half sheet of copy paper that's had the same treatment as most of the other copy paper in here it's been stitched around and the corners were punched and it was coffee dyed okay and then here we have another half sheet tucked in here and you can always add more things into these or switch them around however you like and this can be uh, journaled on and here's a journal space and here's some little flowers I made this uh, lace uh, came from Hobby Lobby and you can trim the little flowers and cut them apart and so I made a little flower garden there and then a, a little piece of trim up here Here's another one of the Tim Holtz die cuts and journaling space or space for pictures. And then this uh, card came out of a set of stationery I found at the thrift stop store. It was really neat, so I put that in there. And then on this side there's a journaling card that's been stitched and inked. Um, this is made from a piece of a folder I believe I'm not sure it may just be cardstock I've cut that way I can't remember <laughs> it's been a few days since I finished this one and then here we have a little pocket it's lace sewn on to scrapbooking paper and then attached to the page so that so that you wouldn't get snagged up on the lace a little piece of stained notebook paper and then here's another tuck spot and this is a piece of um, tissue paper, a uh, gift wrap tissue paper, and it's been stitched onto coffee dyed copy paper so that you can write on it. And of course, there's you can write on any of these surfaces, put pictures on them, add more embellishments, anything that you would like to do. And then on this side, there's pieces of um, pages from a notebook it was like a planner but it had these pages in it just extra pages it was a inst um, I don't know what you would call it exactly it was a it was a planner I guess you would call it anyway here's a place that you could put um, more pictures and you can write on either side of this paper there's four pieces of that and some pretty lace on here and then here's one more pocket has another half sheet of the paper and this tuck goes to the bottom and then here's a journaling space and the lines have been stitched on instead of it just being printed you might can see that better if I hold it up a little bit so you can see some of the threads are out here at the edges <laughs> I saw someone do that I thought it was neat and of course a Tim Holtz and I didn't leave that as a tuck spot it's glued down so all right and then on the back we have a pocket it's been stitched on and there are two index cards that have been stained and inked 
and they have a little uh, lace tab on each one so you can get them in and out of the pocket e more easily. And that's our envelope journal. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I thank you for stopping by Paper Paint and Stitches. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see more when I have another video to post. And I really appreciate the people who have subscribed already and I'm looking forward to more of you joining us on this little adventure. Um, thanks again for stopping by and have a blessed day. Bye.